A major goal in prosthetics is to create artificial limbs that both act and feel like real limbs. Researchers here at the University of Edinburgh are working alongside the Scotland-based company Touch Bionics, developers of the award-winning iLim, the world's first commercially available bionic hand. By amplifying signals from muscles in the amputee's stump, the robotic hand can be instructed to open and close under mount in a variety of different types of grasp. The fingers automatically stop when they have formed a firm and steady grip on the object, allowing the patient much more dexterity than ever before from a prosthetic device. One thing we often take for granted is our sense of touch. Yet without it, we would find everyday tasks a significant challenge. There are thousands of nerves in every one of our fingertips. We grip objects sufficiently so as they do not slip from our grasp, but not too hard that they might break. However, amputees do not have this luxury making what would seem a simple task rather difficult. The key idea behind our research is that for successful use of a robotic hand, patients require not only the ability to control the hand, but also a continuous sensory feedback. At the University of Edinburgh, we're examining ways of interfacing this sensory feedback with the nervous system. By passing small electric currents into nerves in the upper arm, or by creating patterns of vibration on the skin. The amputee can gain a brand new sense of touch. We fit patients with the island and add sensors to detect forces on the fingertips. The signals from these sensors are processed and then communicated to the patient by electrical or vibratory stimulation. And this feedback can be used to coordinate and control the robotic hand without relying on constant attention allowing the patient to get on with their daily lives. We are presently running experiments to understand exactly how the brain is able to learn to use the artificial sense of touch we have created, and how, with practice, we stop thinking about it, and it all becomes quite natural. Our research at the University of Edinburgh is making progress in science and technology, and giving amputees a real helping hand. And who knows? Maybe soon, we'll all want a bionic limb.